Hey, University of Pittsburgh, here we are at Panther Center with coverage of your Panther sports. I'm Claire Dempsey. I'm Lucy Mott. And I'm Kelsey Baird. We're going to start by taking you back to the beginning of the school year, to the first week of school at the annual Bonfire and Pep Rally, where Vince Rodimer interviews Pitt students about the upcoming football season. <laughs> Bonfire getting ready for some pit football. Yeah, he's talking to me it's been reported I... recently <laughs> that Superman wears the Sean McCoy's pajamas. Is that true? Definitely. I've, I've seen him actually. Superman, we've seen Superman wear the Sean McCoy's pajamas. Next week's story was pretty different, wasn't it, Claire? Yes, it was. Here are some highlights from Pitt's 27-16 win over Buffalo. Buffalo's D. Willey carried the ball for 223 yards, getting one touchdown. Pitt's LaShawn McCoy carried the ball for 117 total yards, getting three touchdowns for the Panthers. That was a good win to get behind us. Now here's Kelsey with some soccer news. And now here's some footage of the men's soccer team playing inner city rival to King University who had home field advantage. As you can see, it was a long game for both teams as defense on both sides prevailed over offensive attacks. And here, Pitt's Sam Luffy loses a challenge to Duquesne defender. The Panthers come close to scoring, but Duquesne goalie Chris Torres puts a stop to one of their better efforts.
Despite the recent struggle, the soccer team still has high hopes for the remaining season. We also have some other updates on your women's volleyball team who are off to a great start. How about it, Lucy? At this year's annual Pitt Classic, Pitt played Ohio University, Eastern Kentucky University, and Binghamton. Here are some killer highlights from the win over Binghamton. Rossi passes it to Nicole Torrance and is hit by Stephanie Ross. Nice job, ladies. Later, Rossi serves. Blocked by Moses. Amy Town hits it. Ross. Amy Town slams it. Here we go. Moses and Torrance block it for the win. Great job, ladies. Excellent game. What an exciting game that was. Great job, ladies. Next, we have some clips from a later game in the season against Duquesne University, and here they are. Rossi starts off with a serve. Has a great dig. Passes it to Kelly Campbell, who gets a great hit. Later, Rossi has another dig. Moses helps it back over the net. But they lose the point. Later action, Amy Town hits it, it's blocked, but Hodding helps it back over the net. Despite the small loss to Duquesne, Pitts Volleyball is off to a tremendous start and we wish them luck the rest of the season. And our man Vince Rodimer is back with his segment 5-4-3.